What's up, everyone? My name is Jose Trujillo. I am the world's greatest living artist. And you're about to hang out with me here for a painting demo. Okay, those of you who are like, what do you mean painting demo? Well, that's what I do. I do, uh, from time to time, I like to do painting demos. And, uh, and this is one. All right, this is one. This is one. Here we go, here we go. All right. So I'm going to show you a little painting demo that I am going to do here of a little of a little a little piggy, <laughs> a little piggy. So, so this is the way I'm going to start the painting, okay? Just to just to uh, show you guys, I'm going to start by drawing it very loosely and calmly, okay? This is the game. The game is to is is be fast by being calm, okay? That's the game. The game is not being fast by being desperate. The game is being fast by being calm. Okay? Here we go. Now, by the way, if you guys uh, are looking at what I'm doing here, I am just trying to... It's almost like a stencil, right? It's almost like a stencil. It's like, it's like quick, right? It's almost like a stencil. I don't want to take too long. And I, don't, I also don't want to make the mistake of trying to rush through it. You notice I'm taking my time, but it's going fast, right? And, and the reason why, it's because I am not very interested in, in details that just don't pertain to my work. See, there's a piggy already. I'm not, I'm not very interested in details that don't pertain to my work. So, so my, 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 my work will carry certain details, and I will leave certain details out. It's almost like a... I, I mentioned it's almost like a like a uh, a story, right? If I tell you a story, if, if I uh, orally, right? If I'm if I'm if I'm sharing a story with you know through voice, you're not reading it. Even if you're reading it, the, you have to, as a, as a viewer, as a listener, you have to put the story together in your mind, right? If I tell you, well, you know, last la last week there was this. Two people that were walking, and one of them forgot their phone, and they had to go back to their car, which, by the, by the way, was kind of beat up. The car was kind of beat up, but it was okay. You know, it's part of it. And they went back to the movies, and, and you know, you start imagining what type of car. Who were these two people? Were they, were the, what, what, you know, you start imagining all kinds of things, gender, uh I don't know, uh, identity in society. Who were they? Was it a teacher? Was it a, was it a student? Was it a, well, hopefully not, hopefully not teacher and student. <laughs> but, you know, was it, a, was it a father? Was it a friend? Who, who are these people, right? So you finish the, you finish the, the, the picture in your mind, mm -hmm. right? You finish mm -hmm. the picture in your mind. So this is the way I like to paint. I give some information, but the picture gets finished by the viewer. Okay, I can't give all the information because, because uh, for many reasons. But one of them, one of them, one of the main reasons, is that is that I, I cannot I cannot dictate to you what to see. Right, I cannot dictate to you what to see. You you have to you have to use your own imagination in order to savor this. Right, some of the best artwork that I've seen mm -hmm. it leaves room for the imagination. If, if if I if I show you everything, you'll miss you'll miss uh, your opportunity to to have a say in the matter. Right, you'll miss your opportunity. So this is one of the reasons, one of the main reasons why I like to paint this way, because I, I want to be able to to get the viewer engaged in the painting. And, and, and I, I don't want to I don't want to dictate a painting I want to invite the viewer to look at the painting and then and then uh, and then engage with it and and then therefore we have something I believe much more uh, truthful right as opposed to well this is what it is it is a bird and these are the lines and this is you know like in this case this is the piggy and this is the way it's going to you know it's photographically and and uh, and realistically anatomically perfect, and this is the way that you are supposed to digest it. And I don't want to do that. Now I'm not saying there's wrong with there's anything wrong with that. There's plenty of realist and naturalist painters mm -hmm. that do a great job at also telling a story. 
but that is not my cup of tea. That is not how I tell the story. The way that I tell the story is by leaving some of the information out. I believe if I leave information out, then you are more likely to engage with it because now the questions are going to start popping up, right? What is that line there? What does that mean? Why, why, why did he create, why did he put blue down there? Right? Why? Why is that? What? What is? What does blue have to do? Or, or why is there green? You know, why is there green next to the eye? That kind of thing, right? That's that's the. It, it's part of the story. I'm 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 telling a pictorial story, a pictorial story, and and and, and that is the invite. That is the invite. It is the invitation. By the way, if you're having a hard time finding ideas to paint, okay, if you're having a hard time finding. Uh, maybe you don't know what to paint. You're a little lost. You're like, man, I wish I had more ideas. Because a lot of people ask me for for references. They're like, what? Can you show the reference? Can you show the reference, guys? I have a library of thousands of references that I've that I've accumulated throughout my entire career. And one of the things that I've done lately is that I made them available to other artists. They are not free, but I can send you, I can send you a sample if you like. I can send you a sample of, of a few of them. If you like, so if you if you want a free sample, let me know and I'll send you a sample of of references that I got that I drew. Okay, these are these are ink and paper drawings, loose drawings that I use for my paintings. And so if you feel stuck and you're like, man, I don't I don't know what to paint. Look, I never feel stuck because I have so many references. This is this is homework for you guys. If you're an artist, start accumulating references because because they are. Uh, they're the thing that will keep you moving, you know, just like uh, just like writers, marketers. They have what it's called a swipe file. They call them swipe file files, which is where they go and they get ideas, right? They get ideas, especially writers. Marketers do that as well. They do that a lot, but they, they get ideas, right? They, they, they have lots and lots of ideas. They read lots of books. That's where they get references from. Uh, as artists, it is extremely important to have to have many drawings, many sketches that you can actually use as references right and what i when, when i say drawings and sketches it's because uh when it comes to 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 anything that has uh that is art or is has proprietor proprietorship is that the, is that the word i don't know if i'm making up a word uh that is that it doesn't belong to you right uh then you have to be very careful and not copy the work uh and 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 because you don't want any of those problems right so so one of the things that an artist learns to do early on in the career is how to see something and not copy it verbatim, right? You're not copying it piece by piece. You're, you're, you're essentially getting just inspired by it and you're using your own imagination and your own nuances, your brush strokes, your colors to create something different. And that is very, very important to learn as an artist if you don't have life models, which is ridiculous. Not everybody's going to have a... A life model, I don't have a pig in front of me. Come on, there's a lot of artists that are like, well, there wouldn't be a problem if you had live models. Then not everybody has live models. Come on, it's 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 fun. Let's not say ridiculous stuff. So, so what happens is that you are you are creating a library, right? I've already done that. I've created a library of, of thousands of pieces. If you if you want a hold, if you want to get a hold of mine. I, I have them available. They, I sell 50 of them for, I think it's 49 bucks, some, somewhere around there, for 50 of the drawings that I can send you. This includes animals. Uh, they're all separate, right? I have animals, I have landscapes, I have birds, I have uh, figurative work, angels, seascapes. I mean, you name it, still lives. I got everything, right? And here's the cool part about that. Here's the really cool part about that. You can use them and create your own paintings with them. I mean, why, why else would I share them with you? So you don't have to be worrying about copyright with those references. I already know I, I, created, I created those references specifically to share them. So you don't have to worry about, about uh, well, is Jose going to be okay if I, if I make a painting of one of his reference photos that he's selling? Uh, is he going to be okay if I sell it? If I create a painting and then I go and sell it, of course I'm going to be okay. That's what they're for. All right, that's what they're for. Uh, but let's make it clear. It's 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 the references that I am. Um, th this is not for all my paintings, guys. Okay, so don't get trigger happy. It's for the references that I'm selling. It's for the references that I'm selling that you are uh, you are allowed to uh, to make your own creations from them. And and who knows? You might start practicing 
uh, making them yours, right? Making them yours, and that that's a really great practice. That's if you if you're having a hard time with that. Look at that little piggy, man. Man, I'm a badass. Badass, yeah. So um, there it is, guys. That's 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 how the cookie crumbles. If uh, if you've had any sort of experience painting full time, uh, for or, or at least for a while, you'll know that one of the biggest problems that we have as artists in the creation process is that we don't have enough ideas, right? Unless unless you've unless you already went through the through the trouble of accumulating references or or uh, teaching yourself how to generate ideas. Uh, which I've done already, right? Uh, from from years and years of practice, I still use references. Okay, I I I, I don't, I don't want to appear. Uh, I don't I don't want to bullshit anyone. I still use references, but I don't use them as much because lots of what I paint is in my mind. Lots and lots of what I paint is in my mind. So I use I'll vaguely use the references, just to kind of, you know, get certain, uh, just certain little things right in, into place. Like, okay, where, where are the eyes? Where are the ears of this little piggy? I'll use a reference for that and then move on, right? Move on. I, I will look at it again because now now I want to paint it and I want to make it. Even though it's mine, I, I still want to make it my own. I want to make it different every time, right? I want to make it different. I want to I wanna, I wanna be able to explore with it and try different stuff. So look at that. Mmm, ooh la la, mucho François. Mucho François, baby. And then, and then I'll play with a, with a palette knife, you know, just a little bit. So again, I have references available uh, for free, okay? A sample of them. I think I have about, I don't know, somewhere around 20 or something like that. I don't know how many there are. They, they might, it might be more. But uh, just send me a, a message and I'll send them to you for free. Um, which is going to need a, an email to send them to because they are in a PDF. And if you find them helpful, then you can always come back to me for more, okay? So this is one of my, by the way, I just shared with you one of my top, 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 top secrets as an artist, okay? This is a top, top secret, a top strategy. Most artists won't even share this with you. The, the, uh, the, the, huge library of thousands of references an artist accumulates over the years okay and the cool thing is that while you may want to go and accumulate your own you can use mine or you don't even have to go accumulate your own if you don't want to you, you can just use all of mine i don't know look at that mm, ooh la la, mucho little pig all right guys if you love this painting I encourage you to follow me. I don't know, like, subscribe, whatever, whatever you think is suitable for you. I don't want to force you to do anything. But what I do want to do is share with you all the cool stuff that I got to share. And uh, that includes the references. So if you want a sample of my references, let me know and I'll, and I'll send that to you. All right. Take care. Adios.